The S1 Mini Baton, 600 lumens of power. Let's check it out. And guys, light is your number one security tool. Oh yeah. Guys, for over a year I've been carrying one of the Olight S-Mini Batons. It's a very tiny light. Puts out 550 lumens. I mean, this light is bright. And it's the smallest light you can get that has the lithium CR123s, which is a very great power source. But now Olight has come out with their new S1 Mini. It's 10% lighter and 20% brighter. It gets up to 600 lumens. So if you're looking for a good EDC light, you want to check this out. Guys, we're going to take a look at Olight's new version of their smallest Olight in the Baton series. And this is the S1 Mini. It's a brand new offering from Olight. Um, guys, you know that for EDC lights, Olight is the deal uh, for me. I love Olights. I've been carrying them for years. In fact, the standard S10 baton was one that I carried when the S1 came out. Uh, it's just so easy to carry this light. You can see how small it is. In fact, it's 2.3 inches in length, and it's about 0.83 inches in diameter, so it's less than an inch. Uh, it's very small, very compact, and yet it puts out 600 lumens of light. And that's the big deal with this light. It uses the CR123, and I'm going to just show you the battery compared to the light. You can see that there is not a lot of excess that's going on. It's a very trim, small light. And to give you a little comparison, here is my S10R, which is a rechargeable. And then you can see that it is considerably larger. Now, they did come out with the S-Mini uh, a couple of years ago. In fact, here is an S-Mini in the copper, and it's the same size, but of course the copper just weighs more than the aluminum straight up. But if this was in the aluminum, it would still weigh about 10% more than the new S-1 Mini. Now, the S-1 Mini with the battery, 1.4 ounces, and then also it's 20% brighter. Uh, 600 lumens on the S-1 Mini, 550 lumens on the S Mini. You can also see the clips are different. Uh, you have your standard deep pocket clip. This has been a great clip. has a little catch right here to keep it in your pocket. With the new S1 Mini, uh, the clip comes down and around, and then the clip can double on the other side. So you have more capability to hook this to different things. One thing I really love about the clip is it's versatile. I can put it this way with the lens going up, or I can take this outside leaf, slide it right in. That gives it, that makes it very versatile. I got the tail cap here now. It still rides deep, rides just as deep as it is the other way. Then I can use a ball cap, put the light on, and I have light here, hands free. Another thing that I really like about this light over the S10 or the original S Mini is that it still retains the magnetic uh, tail cap. With the rechargeable lights like this S10, the rechargeable station is right here, or the port, so you place it on there. Uh, with this, this has a very unique charging feature, and we're going to look at it. So this is also rechargeable. This is a side switch, and it's right here at the front. And, uh, you know, it's real easy, but yet the way it's made, it's not going to inadvertently come on in your pocket. Uh, right here in the center, uh, when the battery gets down to about 10%, that's going to turn red. So that's, they'll give you kind of a fair warning. But you can see S1 Mini right here on the side. One thing, too, that they've changed is this braid texturing surface. 
Now, it really looks good. Uh, here's the, str the traditional texturing or the uh, checkering on your standard light, I mean, or your S-Mini. Uh, one of the problems with this is that things can get down in there. Grime and lint and all kind of stuff can just catch in these really small little grooves. And that's one of the reasons why they went with the braid. Um, it keeps, it makes it really easy to clean. Well, here on the other side, we have Olite. And the clip is just one way. You can't turn the clip to either side. And that was the same thing with the S-Mini. There's a blue ring around the switch and then also around the bezel. A uh, nice anodized ring. Uh, you can see that the Cree XM L2 LED, uh, which it does have sort of a unusual type reflector. We're going to take a look at it. Now, around the bezel, you can see here we have some of the information about the light. 600 lumens. And then it gets your candela, 6500 candela. The CRI says 70. And that means that on a scale from 1 to 100 to get actual daylight light on an object when you shine on it 100 is the top and this gets to 70 but here we have the s1 mini hcri now this only gets 450 lumens but the cri if you'll notice is 90. this gets really close to actual daylight color so if you're really looking for true color you want to go with the hcri everything else on these two lights are pretty close to the same Except for the LED, uh, the XML2 here on the standard S1 Mini, and then we have the XP63 LED. One of the easiest ways to tell the difference between these lights is on the tail cap with the HCRI on the back. Now the modes are very easy to get to. In fact, if you just flip it on, it's on, press down, and it's off. If you want to go through the mode settings, click it on, and then press. Now right here, we're at 15 lumens. We're at 60 lumens, and then here we're at 300 lumens. Uh, to get to the turbo setting, you just double click. Now we're at 600 lumens, and this will go for only one minute. So it's not really made to just kind of keep on for constant. Also, there is a memory setting in here. Uh, whatever you leave on last, that's what it'll stay on. Now there is a moonlight setting, and to get to that, you just press and hold. And here we have five lumens. This will go for 15 days. Now it does offer a strobe feature and uh, you click it on and then click it three times and you have your strobe. So it's a very intuitive light and it's one of the reasons why I really love the Olight because I carry Olight, I know what it's gonna do. I don't have to worry about turning a switch or fiddling around with some other button. I know exactly where my modes are and it is easy to remember, easy to learn. It has a TIR reflector, and what that does, it just makes a very defined, wide hotspot. So it's not a pinpoint beam, it's going to give you a nice flood in a large area. And that's really great for something like this, you know, just to be able to find something, it's going to be nice. We're going to look at that a little closer when we get these outside. Now, one of the other things that's really cool about this light, and I'm going to take the tail cap off, and we're going to look at the battery. Uh, here we have your uh, RC123A. And if you'll notice, there's a little port right here. With the light, you get a mini USB cable. This just hooks into the battery itself. And then you can slide this into your computer or any external battery. So here we have one. One thing you're gonna notice is that right here, the light is red, so we're charging. Once that gets to green, you're fully charged. Uh, if this light ever goes completely out, you can recharge this in two and a half hours fully. Now, both lights, while they have different Cree LEDs, uh, they're both cool white. Now, here we have the S1 Mini Baton. We're going to take a look at what this thing will do. Okay, this is at 300 lumens, and I'm going to go through the modes. Now, here we're at the 15 lumens, but if you put it out there, you're not really getting a lot. Uh, it is showing. You can see a little bit if I show up at the tree. We're going to click up one more time. This is the 60 lumens. You can see a lot better. And then, of course, the 300 lumens. Definitely bright. You can see how wide that spill is. For a small light like this, that's a nice, large flood. Um, and then we'll, what we're going to do is double click, get our turbo. Definitely brighter. And then, of course, three clicks. Then we have our strobe. 
and then we go back to the 300 lumens. Now here we have the S1 Mini, but this is the HCRI version, and uh, this is gonna be more like 450 lumens on bright. So we go ahead and turn it on. Uh, the color, you definitely see the richness of color. Here we have the low setting out there. You're not really getting a lot. Here we have the next setting, much brighter, but actually still, you're getting enough light to see. It's just not picking it up with the camera. There it is. There's the 450 with a double click. All right, here's the 600 lumens with the standard uh, S1 Mini. And then here is the 450 lumens with the HCRI. Pretty significant difference, but look at the color. It's a little more washed out with the standard S1 Mini, but here you have the HCR1, much more rich color. But this is the 600 lumen setting. You can look down into that field. Uh, that's about 35 yards away, but the beam distance is about 100 yards, uh, and that's great for this size light. That's one of the reasons why I like carrying these lights. I don't feel like I'm going light on the light, <laughs> but you know, I feel like that I, I can be confident that I've got enough light for most situations. Now the O-lights are IPX8, which means these are submersible up to two meters, uh, but not only water, but it also keeps dust out. Here we're just gonna put it in the water. And you can see that it just holds up well. I've had a lot of experience putting these in pools, but our pool's closed right now, so this will have to do. And these are O-ring sealed, and so they're just sealed tight. Uh, it's a very smooth thread. And then here you can see you have your O-ring right here. Uh, I would put a little silicone on there just to keep that fresh. Uh, but you can see it does fit with the positive side out, which is a little different. Uh, but this does have circuit protectors in case you put it in wrong at first. Uh, but one of the things about Olight, and I've said this a number of times, is that typically if I have different type lights, and I have a number of different lights because I review lights uh, from different companies, uh, I find that when I pick up a light and it's an Olight, it just comes on. I mean, I don't have to worry about it. It seems like a lot of times with some of the other lights that I have, I pick them up, the batteries are dead. And I haven't really used them that much. It just seems like that the Olight series tends to hold a charge longer. And so that's really important because we don't necessarily use flashlights all the time. And so it's nice to be able just to pick it up and feel confident that when you click that, it's going to turn on. Now it does come with one of the Olight lanyards. And the connection point is right here at the clip. You'll see that there's two holes that go through. And there's a needle that you can run this through and then just run your lanyard through it. Really simple. Then you can just undo the needle and you're done. In fact, we'll go ahead and just pull it off. The price on the S1 Mini is $49.95. You're getting a lot of light, 600 lumens, for a very small package. And guys, I'm telling you, this is the perfect EDC light. Yes, there's little pin lights and there are other type little uh, keychain lights, but if you really want something that is incredible, that can really serve a lot of different purposes, the S1 Mini, to me, it fits the bill. And I'll have a link down in the description, and you also get free shipping if you're in the U.S. The S1 Mini, a big thumbs way up. You can get these at forgeforfreedom.com. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. is tiny so look how I mean that is just tiny and so you have two different modes of carry and my fingernails look horrible can put out 600 lumens <laughs> going light on the light <laughs> and of course because I'm talking about how smooth it is it's taking me forever to get that on 